weeks ago. Whoa, long pause. Woofing it a little bit on. Up bounce. Misses the start. The inside gate from Jason Doyle. He just roared in there. Lambert down the outside of Dudek. Here comes Woofing around the outside as well. But Doyle away from the inside gate. Lambert hanging on. Keep your eyes on Woofing. He's elected to go high and wide. Is there enough dirt? Can he produce enough speed? But Doyle out in front. Tell you what, Ty Woofenden's really got that by hook working and hooking up around the outside. Wouldn't be surprised if he could make his way to the front here. Jason Doyle seems to be spinning up, made himself very big on the opening lap in the first turn. Ty Woofenden, definitely the man with the speed out there. Woofenden around the outside, Doyle under pressure, into the last lap. Doyle slams the door shut as they go into turns one and two for the last time. Woofenden committed to it. Doyle just about hanging on. Here we go. That's more like it! Oh, we'll see we go then. He's got the inside gate. Takes her up. He's making it work and he's got there. Holders alongside him. Freddie Lingwin with the cutback. Slicing oh, through. He's gone down. Oh, that's not what oh, Top Holder no. wanted. No. That is the last thing he needed. Can you believe it? It always seems to happen, doesn't it? You yeah. come back from injury and then something like that happens. Feeling like, talk us through it. Yeah, we're seeing it again, and he's made a decent start, got himself in the mix there, coming from gate three. Here, Freddie Lindgren, right Whoa. through. Wouldn't be surprised. We saw the yellow light come on for Freddie Lindgren there, right across the corner, takes his front wheel, takes him down. If the referee's lenient, it call all four back, but I think Freddie could go for that. Wouldn't be surprised. It was quite a ruthless move, but it's World Championship Speedway. We've seen right from the first lap of the first race, riders really going at it. Surprising that all four stayed up in the first race, but they haven't here. Jack Holder's gone down. Now, does he give that left wrist a clout? He can't not. He had. So oh, reps are up, tapes are up now, and Lingwin's made a super start. They hit the first corner, Lingwin's in front, round the outside. He's in Oscar Doyle's gone down. Yeah, I think Doyle's going to be out for that. Yeah, he will be. Because he's lifted on his own, and unfortunately for the Australian. Yeah, Janoski was lucky, he just crept around the outside when just Jason just it. picked up a load of grip by jumping Well, up in that's the air. Uh, a different complexion on the meeting now for the former it's world champion, Jason Doyle. And it's grippy out there, and it seemed to catch him out, didn't it? It certainly did, yeah. He makes a half decent start from gate three, gets there just about alongside Lingren, but there, Janoski's lucky because he just Ooh. creeps around the outside. Too there, Jason grip. just backs into the grip. I think that's the problem. He's actually backing the bike, he's stalling the bike into the dirt, and then those big, heavy flywheels that these engines have got just catch up with him, and the bike lurches up in the air. Here we go then, heat number 14, the tapes are up. They go, oh, a bit of Archie Bargy. Worrell hits the front, but he's gone wide. He's left the door open. Lingo comes through. Here comes oh. Dudek. Where did he come from? He was on the back wheel. He was out of shape, but he's charged to the front. Stunning move from Dudek. Vasilik's at the back. That's not what he was looking for. But what about that from Patrick Dudek? A bit of special speedway down the back straight. Uh, Freddie Lindgren with his elbows out on the way to the first turn with Martin Vashinuk, who now finds himself at the back, and he'd be on six points if that's how he finishes. But Patrick Dudek Whoa. wheelied all the way down the back straight <laughs> on the opening lap. Brilliant move from him. Patrick Dudek, stunning right from him. A lap to go. Back-to-back -back heat wins. Look at him go. He looks great on the bike. Freddie Lingren really having to work hard in second place. Watch Stevie Worrell going to pick up the point for the first time this evening. But Patrick Duda, fond memories of this place. As you rightly say, he was third last year. Woofenden's made a smashy start. Barzo smiles the ground the outside. Will it work a treat for him? No, it hasn't quite got there yet. He's in a second. Here he comes, round the outside of Woofenden. He's gone very wide indeed. Hewley's on the inside. Oh, my goodness! Oh, I thought for a moment he was going to fire himself up the inside to the front. Woofenden read it beautifully. Slammed the door shut. Smiles like hunting down Woofenden, who's holding the inside. Here we go. This is going to be 
race some race out in front. Yeah, I tell you, Smarzik's really working. Oh, out. no, that's a big mistake. Whoa, oh. too much grip from Wuffen, and he's off the bike. Strange place to get that much grip. I think oh, I just as the bike lifted, there. he's hit something. Yeah, yeah there's in the a rut there. Awkward crash. And That's where we get off it. Concern for Woofenden now. Really back in the pits. We'll uh, just take a few moments while Ty Woofenden is attended to. Bewley was not at the front. This is an opportunity for him. It's a tough sport, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Isn't it a tough sport? You're out in front. You're having a cracking race, and then this happens. Yeah, he's, uh, he knows he's under pressure here. Smiles looks right up the inside of him, and he knows he's got a race on his hands. Oh. Yeah, the bike actually almost turns completely sort of round while it's up in the air. We can see here, it does turn it quite hard, and then, oh, wow. And he's not off of it. No, he's no. part of it. Look, the tyres just dug in there. He actually does really well to get off. That could have been far worse than it actually was. But really, really, oh, he goes down hard on his shoulder and his head. Well, he hasn't let well. go of it, Chris, has he? <laughs> Frick's made it. He's got there. Lambert's alongside him. He stops the run of Lingren. Lingren swaps back to the inside. Going to be tight down the back. Very oh, tight. tight. Lambert's done very well really? to hold the um, uh, impetus there of Freddie Lingren. Frick's out in front. Lambert looking threatening in his second place. Here comes Lingren. Charging round the outside. Searching for more speed. Not quite going to get there now. Frick's in front, but he's under huge pressure. Lingren again electing to go very wide indeed. Lambert moves out. Lingren then swapping back to the inside now. Keep your eyes on Lambert, he's got speed! Yeah, what Frick. a move from Lambert! Oh, Max Frick there, just holding Robert Lambert up. Robert had to do something to get to the front. Elected to ride right around the fence. Lingren now past Frick. It's all happening here, but I tell you what, what a ride from Robert Lambert. Lambert out of his skin, riding out of the top draw there. Superb speedway from Robert Lambert. Lingren's come through in his second place. That'll do it for Freddie. Max Frick fading the longer the race went on, and Jason Edwards misses out. But Robert Lambert, three consecutive race wins for him. And first semi of the evening. Green light is on. Tapes are up and we're underway. Holder's made it on the inside. Fabulous start from him. He just can do no wrong tonight. Roaring round, round the outside. Here comes Freddie. Holder lifted violently down the back straight. That killed his momentum. And Lingren was there, ready to pounce. Frick has a word out of gate number three. Nielsen's through in the second place, but Freddie Lingren throwing the gauntlet down to Smarslick now. Oh, yeah, fantastic opening lap from Freddie Lingren. Just got the bike to work. I didn't think it would after the track race, but Jack Holder now just doing what he's got to do. I tell you what, if he can hang on to this second place and make the final, that will have been a fantastic night for him. Here we go, then. Just over a lap to go for fast Freddie Lingren and took advantage of Holder just lifting down that back straight. But for Holder, nonetheless, he's set for the final, which is an achievement in itself, a miraculous achievement. Lingren, though, showing great determination. He's in the final, and so is Holder. Coming out of the last corner with only one hand on his handlebar. Can you believe what that man's doing tonight? Nielsen misses out, and Frick does as well. Smarslick hasn't made it, but Vasilik has. Lambert's out of shape. Smarslick now trying to go around the outside. Lambert's coming up the inside. Look at Smarslick hunched okay. over the handlebars. Charging around the outside. Brilliant move from him. Lambert has been relegated. Oh, my goodness gracious me. And Smarslick hasn't been in front all night long. And the completion of one lap, he's there. You just cannot script it. I had a feeling that things have changed for Smarslick coming into this race. They had absolutely nothing to lose and I tell you what he's found the speed that's taken him to the top of the standings wow. and uh, well he's going to extend it I think tonight he's flying out in front Martin Vashley in second place Robert Lambert is going to be bitterly disappointed he was in such great form coming into the semi-final but he doesn't look like he's going to be a finalist now but Bartosz Smarsley he just cannot keep a good man down and where did he find it from? What a ride that was. Stunning move on the opening lap. And, uh, would it be Smarsley? Fancy Freddie on the outside. Here we go then, last time. Tapes are up. 
Vasilic's made a good start. What a start from Stop gate number right. three. What a first turn. Holder and Sparsley. Oh, oh, my goodness. No. How on earth did they stay up there? No, no. Martin Vasilic and a gate number three. A stunning performance. Sparsley's gone to the back. Jack Holder hanging on in second place. But look at Lingwood coming on strong in third. Unbelievable opening lap. I don't know how they all stayed on. I've got to see that one again. Here comes Lingwin around the outside. No, door's been shut by Jack Holder. Martin Vashlik comfortably out front. I can't see him getting past. I'll tell you what, Jack Holder's putting the pressure on. Yep, what a disaster for Smarslik, though, back in fourth place with Lingren in third. One more lap to go, Martin Vasilik looking to pick up his second Grand Prix victory of the year, quite possibly his best performance, particularly when you consider he's come from the worst game. Martin Vasilik wins in the Principality in Cardiff in 23. What a night for him. Smarslik puts himself on the podium around wow. the last time. What a last gasp move from Smarzik as well. Never knows when he's beat. Got the better of Lingren. Oh, my goodness. Cracking stuff. What a night of Speedway it is. Many congratulations to that man. He is going to get a medal this year, isn't he? He is going along great guns. Smarzik's had to work overtime for his rostrum position. Jack Holder. Wow. He's in absolute agony. He will be second hand tomorrow, that's for sure. But what an artist be where it is. It belongs to Martin Vasilik. It's been a terrific performance. A stunning start. Can't wait to see it again. Absolutely nailed it.